Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw wood. We begin by sprinkling some graphite powder on the paper, just a little, and then with a chamois we smudge it. Always smudge in the direction in which the boards of the wood will be. Start with little powder and then add as needed, and repeat the action. If you put too much and you smudge it, then it's very, very hard to come back. I will use the 203 mechanical pencil for this project. With a square ruler, I make some dark lines that will divide the wood pieces or the tiles. Good! By the way, the graphite powder is the one I saved when sharpening the leads on my lead holders. Now using a ruler, I mark a division in a couple of the tiles. That ruler was one of those to measure how much paint is in a paint bucket. <laughs> we make the divisions. I switch lead to a harder one to start making the wood grain. This flow a little bit like the waves in water. Here we will draw a knot. Knots are harder in the wood and the other patterns sort of flow around them. The lines I'm making are not totally solid, they are a little bit blurry as I am making them through a series of short lines. In this close-up I think you can see what I'm talking about. Here I am drawing another knot, one of those that have a little indentation in the wood. See how the rest of the lines flow around it. By the way, if you are interested in drawing wood, I have an in-detail explanation with instructions step by step and with pictures in my book titled You Can Draw Simple Techniques for Realistic Drawings, which is available through Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, etc. There is an unlimited number of patterns that the wood may have. Here we will draw simply lines. Lines that will go all across, of course they are not straight. If you want to soften them, you can go over them lightly with the chamois. Of course, the tone of the wood may vary greatly, depending from what tree it is, or the finish it has on it. It could be a lot lighter or a lot darker than this. I want this wood to look older and not too refined. So at the edge we put some imperfections and little cracks. And also, the ends will be nailed. Let's do two nails on each. There you go, and some more cracks. Sometimes the nails crack the wood. The lower edge of each board should have a shadow, as in this case, the light will be coming from the top right. And with an eraser, we can lighten up the top of the boards. Good! Now let's draw the nails on these ends. This one will be like synced in and we can draw the trace of a hammer hitting the wood. Good! A long version of this video, by the way, will be uploaded to my Patreon account. We do the last details, erasing some spots that catch the light, especially those that face the top right, also sharpening and darkening some spots with the pencil, and it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to Fine Art Tips and I will see you on Tuesday.